Assalamu alaikum, my dear student. How are you all? Hope all of you are fine. I am also fine by the grace of Almighty Allah. And you know me, I am Shahana Zaman, your ICT teacher. Today, again with another new class, new topic, I am standing in front of you. Today, I will take class on chapter 2. I think all of you are ready with your textbook at class or copy. Yes, I hope you will be attentive in the class. Let's start today's class. Question from previous class. It is very important to learn the class lesson regularly. So, as a student, actually, it's your duty to learn the lesson every day. So. I want to check that how many you can give the correct answer. So, first question here. How many kinds of memory are there? Yes, there are two kinds of memory. Can you guess what the types? Primary memory and secondary memory. Number 2. 1024 bytes equal to what? That means how many kilobyte? It is 1 kilobyte. Question number 3. Where does processor primarily store data? Where? Is it RAM or ROM? Yes, it is RAM. That is random access memory. Then question number 4. Which memory lost its stored data if power falls or removed? Yes, it is RAM. And the last question. In which memory commands are stored permanently? It is Read only memory room. I know all of you are very much attentive in the class and you have uh, you gave the correct answer for give correct answer. Thank you. And today's class we will discuss chapter 3 lesson 10 memory and storage device. So let's start today's class. And this class will contain following teaching points that is one number what is hard disk two history of hard disk three disk structure four cd and dvd five types of cd six causes of popularity of cd and dvd and the last number flash drive and memory card so uh, let's see what's more is there in today's class firstly I want to talk to you about the memory you see we have memory two kinds of memory already I told there is primary memory and secondary memory usually uh, primary memory we are telling it is internal memory and it is accessed direct by CPU and in case of secondary memory we are telling it is external memory and it is long term storage memory that means if you want to store a lots of data bulk of data you can store in the secondary memory and now i will talk to you about the secondary memory firstly we can talk that is magnetic drive there is optical drive and flash drive so it's very simple that we can tell secondary memory are three types basically one is magnetic drive, another one is optical drive and last one is flash drive. So, part by part we will discuss all the types. First one, you see magnetic drive, that one we can tell hard disk drive. And you know hard disk drive is, uh, it's, it is name is hard disk, that is it is the heart of your computer or CPU. And it's a data storage device in a computer data is stored on the hard disk in the form of zero and one you know zero and one means yes zero is off bit and one means on bit it is two binary digits it's invented by ibm team lead by ray Joh johansson in 1954 that means uh, Ray Johnson is the team leader of IBM who uh, 
uh, invented this hard disk and hard disk drive come in two basic physical size yes that is 2.5 inch and another one is 3.5 inch the this size refer to the size of plotter not the size of hard disk mechanism and lastly we can tell traditionally 2.5 inch drive are used for laptop while 3.5 inch drive are used for desktop computer yes my dear student you know then ray johnson is the team leader and they are invented uh, this hard disk drive in 1954 but they used these hard disks first time uh, in mini computer and mainframe computer in 1956 that time the capacity of the hard disk was uh, very small you know very small only uh, you can tell 1 gb gigabyte like 1 gigabyte hard disk capacity was a size of big refrigerator in 1980 but nowadays ranging is uh, ranging started from 500 gb to uh, 32 terabyte you know and even your mobile phone has the hard disk of capacity of gigabyte so uh once a time the price of the hard disk that's like a um, refrigerator was too high you know uh, that refrigerator size hard disk in 1980 price was 15000 dollar that time they have spent for 1 megabyte but now it's very cheap nowadays it's very much available in the market with a very cheap price and you know i'm showing here hard disk there is uh, two kind of hard disk one is uh, portable hard disk another one is built in hard disk you see portable hard disk there is where you can uh, carry this one one place to another place if it is required you can add with your cpo and one uh, another one is built in so that it is very simple and clear from the picture hard disk are two kinds one is built in another one is portable and you know both of the hard disk is very much pop popular for its enormous capacity of storing information and the i told already that portable hard disk you can connect to your computer desktop or laptop through this usb port and it is proved already that hard disk can transfer data one place to another place not only that is mammoth of data dear student you see i am sh showing here one picture of hard disk and in this picture identified uh, that is it's a level picture you see where is the plotter it is there is motor there is read write head there is acuter there is interface jumper and power supply all these are very clear but the main component of an hard disk are disk splitter stepper motor spindle motor read and write head and arms in upper class senior class you will get more detail about the hard disk now i'm going to tell you uh, some advantages and disadvantages of hard disk drive you know uh hard disk is very much popular and without hard disk we can't think cpo nowadays so what are the advantages of the hard disk you see it has a large capacity storage capacity storing and retrieves data much faster than a floppy disk or cd rom data is not lost when you switch off the computer yes it was a problem for primary memory you know ram in case of ram if you switch off power supply your uh, storage will be erased next point usually fixed inside the computer so cannot get mislaid yes hard disk uh, actually there is built in hard disk set up inside the computer cheap on a cost price mega megabyte compared to other storage media nowadays you know 
hard disk is very much popular the last point hard disk can be replaced and upgraded as necessary yes you can replace this one and you can update it dear student uh, though it has some advantages lots of advantages but it has some drawback also what these are see point one hard disk eventually fail which stop the computer from working if your hard disk is fail or crash in case of any accident then um, your total system will be off number two regular head crash can damage the surface of the disk you see i shown you read and write head so if it is crashed then uh, surface of the disk can be damaged okay then last point the disk is fixed inside the computer and cannot easily be transferred to another computer that means those one is built in it is not easy to transfer from one computer to another computer one millimeter above the ground and circling the earth once every 25 seconds while counting every blade of grass shrink all that down so that it fits in the palm of your hand and you'd have something equivalent to a modern hard drive, an object that can likely hold more information than your local library. So how does it store so much information in such a small space? At the heart of every hard drive is a stack of high-speed spinning disks with a recording head flying over each surface. Each disk is coated with a film of microscopic, magnetized metal grains, and your data doesn't live there in a form you can recognize. Instead, it is recorded as a magnetic pattern formed by groups of those tiny grains. In each group, also known as a bit, all of the grains have their magnetizations aligned in one of two possible states, which correspond to zeros and ones. Data is written onto the disk by converting strings of bits into electrical current fed through an electromagnet. This magnet generates a field strong enough to change the direction of the metal grain's magnetization. Once this information is written onto the disk, the drive uses a magnetic reader to turn it back into a useful form, much like a phonograph needle translates a record's grooves into music. But how can you get so much information out of just zeros and ones? Well, by putting lots of them together. For example, a letter is represented in one byte, or eight bits and your average photo takes up several megabytes, each of which is 8 million bits. Because each bit must be written onto a physical area of the disk, we're always seeking to increase the disk's aerial density, or how many bits can be squeezed into one square inch. The aerial density of a modern hard drive is about 600 gigabits per square inch, 300 million times greater than that of IBM's first hard drive from 1957. This amazing advance in storage capacity wasn't just a matter of making everything smaller, but involved multiple innovations. A technique called the thin film lithography process allowed engineers to shrink the reader and writer. And despite its size, the reader became more sensitive by taking advantage of new discoveries in magnetic and quantum properties of matter. Bits could also be packed closer together thanks to mathematical algorithms that filter out noise for magnetic interference and find the most likely bit sequences from each chunk of readback signal. And thermal expansion control of the head, enabled by placing a heater under the magnetic writer, allowed it to fly less than 5 nanometers above the disk surface, about the width of two strands of DNA. For the past several decades, the exponential growth in computer storage capacity and processing power has followed a pattern known as Moore's Law, which in 1975 predicted that information density would double every two years. But at around 100 gigabits per square inch, shrinking the magnetic grains further or cramming them closer together posed a new risk called the superparamagnetic effect. When a magnetic grain volume is too small, its magnetization is easily disturbed by heat energy and can cause bits to switch unintentionally, leading to data loss. Scientists resolved this limitation in a remarkably simple way, by changing the direction of recording from longitudinal to perpendicular, 
allowing aerial density to approach one terabit per square inch. So it's very clear about hard disk. Now we are going to start optical drive and optical drive we are showing there is three kind you see CD, CD, DVD and Blu-ray and all these are store its data by light signal. First one is CDs that means compact discs. Yes my dear student the full form of CD is compact discs. We know it is portable and very thin and it can store data up to 700 megabyte. I want to give here more information of CD that is uh, how it is made of and where it is stored the data. Yes, a thin layer of aluminium is applied on the lower portion of the CD. You see here I am showing that is the thin uh, in this portion lower portion they are giving the layer of aluminium and it is protected by polycarbonic plastic. Polycarbonic plastic both sides and sometimes uh, gold coating we are using to make it more um, reflective you see it is reflective very shiny so how it is possible and we are using laser ray to store data on it now see the types of CD we are telling basically it is CD ROM that is CD read only memory another one information it can read data only nothing else it can read no writing is there only read then next one is CD recordable CD recordable you see what's the function of this type of CD it can write once but read multiple you can write the CD but you can read it several times and the last one is CD rewritable erasable CD that means it can write multiple times here so all together we are getting three kinds of CD there is CD recordable CD read only memory and CD rewritable erasable that means uh, last one in case you can erase information from CD and you can write again. Now come in next one optical drive it is DVD. The full form of DVD is digital versatile disc or digital video disc and you know it is very much popular and storage capacity is 10 times more than CD storage capacity and 20 times faster than CDs yes and uh, there is uh, actually DVD taking place the CD day by day this optical drives are developed and now I'm showing you the types of DVD what these are DVD recordable and uh, it can write once but read multiple you can store information one time and you can check it again and again that is read and write another one is DVD rewritable that means you can write it multiple time you can erase the information from DVD and you can uh, take the information again well, that one is not possible in case of DVD recordable so we can understand there is two kinds of DVD but there is another kind of CDs are there it is called or DVD are there it is called Blu-ray and it is available in the market and storage capacity is larger than that of common DVD you see the feature it is called Blu-ray it is a kind of DVD it can store more data and 25 GB data per layer per layer it can store 25 GB gigabyte and there is dual layer and triple layer 
you know that the blu-ray is more popular nowadays than cd and dvd students now will i will talk about flash drive so you know it's a usb flash drive can you see so we can tell usb flash drive is a flash storage there is memory card there is sd card i think all the picture is very much uh, what i tell popular you saw this type of card several times and these are the types of flash storage now i will discuss uh, what actually why they are popular for their cheapness for their efficient use and for their reliability all the flash drive is actually nowadays very much popular in the market and they are obviously popular for their storage capacity portability durability cheapness and convenience okay so whenever a question will come you will write all this part by part now what it is you see it's very much popular these devices yes it's the pen drive and you see that usb is connected with your usb port this port is connect with your usb port and they are showing it is you can connect it is 36 degree angle and it can store data up to one terabyte it is compact it is also cheap durable and popular to user so it helps to transfer information from one computer to another computer now come in memory card you saw this one previously yes you are also using this one and where we are using we are using in the camera we are using this one in our mobile phone we are using this one in the game console so memory card is now very much used and popular flash drive that one we are using in our camera smartphone and game console now come in sd card you also uh, know about sd card and you are using also the full form of sd is secure digital card now you see the types there is micro sd and there is mini sd that means there are two kinds of sd card and we are using uh, this kind of sd card in mp3 or mp4 player in smartphone in camera and game player okay so sd card is very tiny thing when we are regularly using this secure digital card in many devices my dear student i think you are clear about the lesson and you do not have any doubt now i'm going to give you some of the related question you will collect the related question and learn the answer properly let's check the question question number one describe the types and capacity of hard disk drive number two write in brief why cd or dvd is popular number three describe the types and structure of cd and dvd number four write in detail about flash drive and memory card number five write short note on cd and dvd flash drive memory card and sd card i think all this question answer uh, is very available to you if you follow the video so learn it properly students this is the time of homework and today's homework number is 16 i know you can give very good answer see the question describe the types and capacity of hard drive yes hard disk drive uh, is very much popular secondary device secondary memory device 
so i have discussed i gave you many more information so you will describe here types you will describe here capacity in detail i think you can uh, do your hw clearly and one more imp most important thing is here handwriting should be clear okay now dear student it is feedback session and feedback session is very much important for a student that overall what you have learned from today's class feedback session will prove it so let me check what you learn question number one how many kinds of hard disks are there can you remember yes there are two kinds of hard disks one is built-in another one is what external number two usually where we are using sd card where you see mp3 mp4 player game player we are using number three why cd or dvd is popular many more point is there you can tell it is cheapness storage capacity portability durability so that they are popular for number which layer is applied in lower portion of cd or dvd can you remember yes a layer of aluminium is applied both side of cd or dvd question number five how does data are stored in cd data are stored in cd by the help of laser ray six number question full form of cd and dvd it's very easy question that is cd is compact disc and dvd is digital versatile disc or digital video disc number seven when ibm company first used hard disk in computer it's uh, used hard disk in computer in 1956 eight number question where data is stored in hard disk data stored in the hard disk uh, in its floater where electromagnetic coating is given question number nine what type of coating is used in hard disk as yes, already i told it it is electromagnetic coating is given and the last question which ray helps to store data in cd yes it is laser ray which one helps to store data in cd and i think all of you are clear about the lesson so if you have any more question you can write in the comment section or you can talk to your subject teacher okay stay healthy stay home allah hafiz thank you